it's interesting that you said that you you can't imagine doing anything else in light of the fact that the, I assume it feels like you're fighting an uphill battle at times, but just what has that experience been like for you, Elizabeth, in, in terms of being a red and a blue state? <laughs> I guess I'll frame it like that. I hate using that binary, but what has it been like for you? It really led me directly into Braver Angels. Uh, working in politics in a state that was largely opposed to me and in a region that's largely opposed to me meant that I had to learn how to communicate across divides. As a younger teenager, I was just like most teenagers are. I was pretty polarized in my thinking. I was a very black and white person. And I thought that if I shouted my ideology loudly enough, and my desires loudly enough that that would in fact get the return that I wanted. And living in blue districts, working in blue districts and working in purple districts taught me that that was actually the opposite of the case. <laughs> and that if I wanted to persuade people of something, if I wanted to pass good policy, if I wanted to see good policy written, that meant that I had to understand people who didn't think like me. That meant that I had to understand the flaws that they saw in my proposals and then innovate responses to that. I learned that the only way that I could communicate with a group of people who lived in a bubble that was different than mine was to enter their bubble and learn to speak like they did and to understand their concerns and understand why they made the choices they made and what caused them to vote the way that they did and why we might be different and where we might have common ground and then appeal to that common ground to make inroads and build relationships and eventually work together on policy. 